हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट सो ना द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन लोबुलर कार्सिनोमा इंस्टीट्यू and ductal carcinoma in situ lobular carcinoma in situ occurs early that is around 44 to 47 years of age whereas ductal carcinoma in situ occurs late that is around uh, 54 to 58 years of age incidence of lobular lobular carcinoma in situ is less common that is around 2 to 5% incidence of ductal carcinoma in situ is actually more common which is around 5 to 10% then in then clinical signs clinical signs in lobular carcinoma are almost none there are no clinical signs whereas clinical signs in ductal carcinoma are mass pain and lipid discharge is seen in the ductal carcinoma so in mammary signs a mammographic signs Mammographic signs in lobular carcinoma in situ are none, whereas mammographic signs in ductal carcinoma in situ shows micro calcifications. Then, uh, pre-menopausal signs. Pre-menopausal signs in lobular carcinoma in situ is seen in two third of the cases, whereas pre-menopausal signs in ductal carcinoma in situ are seen in one third of the patients. then lobular carcinoma in situ here the incidence of synchronous incidence of synchronous invasive carcinoma is around so if you see the incidence of synchronous invasive carcinoma that means along with lobular carcinoma in situ presence of invasive carcinoma along with this is seen in 5% of these of these patients whereas in ductal carcinoma incidence of this synchronous invasive carcinoma that means along with distal uh, along with uh, ductal carcinoma in situ presence of lobular carcinoma in situ is actually seen in uh, 2 to 46% then multicentricity multicentricity is lobular carcinoma in situ is mostly multicentric that is it is around 60 to 90% multicentric it is less commonly multicentric that is around 40 to 80% are multicentric in ductal carcinoma in situ bilaterality lobular carcinoma in situ is most commonly bilateral that is around 50 to 70% of the cases are bilateral whereas ductal carcinoma in situ it is only 10 to 20% cases are bilateral then then we have axillary metastasis axillary metastasis axillary metastasis is seen in 1% of the cases whereas in ductal carcinoma in situ it is seen in 1 to 2% of the cases now now still more differences in ductal carcinoma sorry lab lobular carcinoma in situ and ductal carcinoma in situ okay in lobular carcinoma in situ the incidence of subsequent carcinoma development of subsequent carcinoma occurs in 25 to 30% of cases 25 to 30% of cases in ductal carcinoma in situ whereas development of subsequent carcinoma is seen in 25 to 70% of cases then development of subsequent carcinomas is mainly bilaterally seen whereas in ductal carcinoma in situ it is ipsilaterally seen then we have interval to diagnosis interval to diagnosis is around 15 to 20 years interval is seen for diagnosis in lobular carcinoma in situ whereas to whereas 5 to 10% interval is seen for diagnosis in ductal carcinoma in situ in histological grade in lobular carcinoma in situ the ductal carcinoma is developed 
in lobular carcinoma in situ even in lobular carcinoma in situ histologically ductal type of carcinoma is only developed and even in ductal carcinoma ductal carcinoma in situ ductal carcinoma is developed subsequently thank you and thank you for watching